smasher on which you seek to destroy the brutal realities of our wretched and unsettled conditions. Out of the garbage cans of conformity comes the spiritual food of our time. Back in line, cried the generals to the army of the spiritually unemployed. We artists are trapped by the reigning forces of fear. In the court of emotional small claims, Justice is just as lethargic. Is that all, then? In answer to your question, the phenomenon is very rare, but there is one well-documented case on record. A young producer was interviewing an actress at the end of a long search for the right girl to play a certain role. Apparently, he was so struck by this girl that he was immediately mesmerized and unable to express himself. He was finally able to talk after five years of daily therapy. The condition is called the Linda Brooks Syndrome. instead of act, Linda. Miss Russoff started late and she dances for the Metropolitan. She does it so beautifully. All it takes is single-mindedness. Work and work and more work. Someday, maybe. If I were you, Sam, I would postpone the opening date until Nina is well. This girl is only a student. I'm willing to risk my career as an impresario on this girl. Such lyricism, such strength, such expressiveness. Now, let's get busy. Change the programs, the ads, the marquee. Get me out Sullivan on the phone. like you're never going to be an actress. Happy birthday, kid. Your present is the truth. do my periodic cleaning before Peter comes. Once a month, whether it needs it or not. See, darling, I haven't fallen apart since you left me. You could drop in any time and the place would be spotless.
taking me away from here. He's not. On this wonderful occasion, I feel grateful to my mother, Linda Brooks, who years ago gave up her own acting career. Without her help and inspiration, I would never have won this Academy Award. I trust she has no regrets about her retirement from public life to raise both me and my great brother, the President of the United States. Thank <laughs> you.